Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I often get asked, who owns the formula? So this video is going to run you through a couple of different scenarios because it's not as simple as you may have first thought. Let's work our way up from the least ownership to the most ownership to help make sense for you. In the first scenario, you simply go to a manufacturer and ask them to create a product for you. They'll send you samples pretty quickly. You can approve or ask for small changes. You don't pay for the changes. They provide you another sample. You sign it off, place your order, and you're ready to go. Now that's private label or almost private label where you only make a small change. You haven't paid that manufacturer for their development or formulation work. You may own the brand, you may own the product that you're branding, but you don't own that formula. That means if you ever want to change manufacturer, you won't get that formula to take to another manufacturer and get made elsewhere. So in this scenario, you don't own the formula. The brand, the product is still yours, but the formula is not. The next scenario is a little more complicated and that's where you may go to a manufacturer or a formulator, provide them with a brief, they provide you with some samples, you pay a very small amount for some minor changes and then the product gets manufactured. Now in this case, it can be debatable about who owns the formula. The original formula is owned by the contract manufacturer or formulator that provided you with the initial samples. They should provide you with notes of the changes they've made, but technically if you've only paid a small amount for minor changes, then you only own those changes. It doesn't mean you own the full formula. So again, if you want to change manufacturer, don't expect them to provide you with the full formulation. They're only obligated to provide you with the details of the very small changes you paid them for. So in this case, you own the changes, but not the formula. You own the brand, you own the product, but you won't get full formulation details. Finally, and the recommended scenario in almost all cases is to get your product fully developed either by a contract formulator, either learn to do it yourself or get it prepared by a contract manufacturer but pay for the full formulation development services. Only when you provide a full and detailed brief and full payment for development work should you then expect a full formula and method that can be truly considered your intellectual property. So in that case, you would have paid a fee to a contract manufacturer, a formulator, or spent the time yourself working through the development of the formula, preparation of samples, revision of samples, and final formulation specifications, writing up the method, fully ready for manufacturer. If you have paid for these items, then you should expect full intellectual property rights, full ownership of the formula, the detailed formulation and method of manufacturer, and you can then take that formula to any contract manufacturer you want for quotes and production. In this scenario, it's your brand, your product, and it truly is your formulation, whether you've done the work yourself or paid someone else to do the full development for you. A lot of the confusion comes from brands where they get private label manufacture, private label with small changes but no payment, or private label with small changes and small payment to the manufacturer. Please remember, in these cases, it is not your formulation. It is not your intellectual property. Only when you've taken full ownership and made full payment for the research and development work, worked through all the steps of the formulation development, either on your own or in conjunction with your contract formulator or contract manufacturer, can you say that that formula is truly your own. 
I always recommend that you pay for full development or do full development yourself. And the reason is if you end up with a brand leading product, you want that ownership, you want that intellectual property. And you do have intellectual property rights to enforce if someone ever tries to copy that formulation. So remember those scenarios. Private label where no payment is made for development work. It's your brand, your product, but not your formula. Private label or contract manufacturer where there has been small payment. It's your brand, your product, but only those changes have been paid for, which means you are not entitled to the full formulation method or details other than the small changes you've paid for. And the best scenario is full ownership, full intellectual property rights, where you have either done the time and done the formulation development work yourself, or paid a contract manufacturer or contract formulator the specified amount to complete full development work for you. Then it is your brand, it is your product, and it is your unique formulation. I hope this video has helped you understand the different intellectual property rights when it comes to formulation development. If you want a brand leading product, then you should invest the relatively small amount in good research and development to yield the great results when it reaches the marketplace. Happy formulating.